it makes me feel good that you might have inspired somebody to do something. I'm Susie. I work as a freelance shoutcaster, which is like a football commentator, but for video games, if you're not sure of the terminology. Um, I think it's really important that everybody is treated equally, really. Um, no matter where you go, everyone's diverse, so why shouldn't it be broadcast that way? Why shouldn't people see diverse people working behind the scenes and in front of the camera? And there's just no need for the sort of disassociation people have these days with anybody who doesn't fit the Hollywood criteria of perfect. But I think it's really important that everybody is included because nobody should ever feel left out of something as universal as gaming and esports. I would always try to call something like that out. Um, if there are any concerns about you know anybody being bullied or you know left out because of anything to do with diversity, you know their gender, gender identity, anything like that, it would have to be called out. You can't let that sort of thing go unnoticed. Um, working with the women in esports tournament. At first, there was a lot of pushback about it from members of the community. You know, saying, oh, why is it a women's only tournament? Um, so it took a lot to sort of, like, explain to those people. It's not a women's only tournament for a start. But even if it was, it's because women in this industry face, like, so much hate and toxicity. And I think it's good that we've given them a really safe place to play now, where they know they're not going to get people telling them horrible things like get in the kitchen and whatnot where you know, they can play being surrounded by people who will like them, who will appreciate them. And it's a shame that we've got to have it, because we shouldn't really need to have that division, because they should just be accepted into the actual division, but at this time they're not, and that's why we've got to work towards getting that perfect world where everybody's equal. Yeah, I'm, I'm very proactive of helping people get into the industry. If anybody asks me, I'm, I'm straight up there. You're giving them the encouragement, the tools that they need to get into it. Um, I have had quite a few students reach out. I've been to a few colleges to sort of talk to people um, in their classes, do a little talk about how I got into it, the barriers that I've faced, and you know the sort of problems I've had in my own life. And they've been really well received. And I had a lot of students come up to me afterwards and just sort of like say thank you for telling us that it's okay to be different in this space and it makes you feel good that you might have inspired somebody to do something that otherwise they wouldn't have dreamed that they could actually do because they felt oh that's that's not for me but it's for everyone i mean i always feel a little bit marginalized um in my role you know all the other people i've worked with have mostly been you know men from you know south with their perfect queen's english accent um and here's me coming up here with a way hi man high pitch and it's like I do feel a little bit out of place quite often and I do feel like I stick out quite a bit um it is also difficult because I feel like I want to be like the fun silly one I want to make jokes I do that a lot in like with close friends in real life you know maybe you say dumb things just you know for the reaction but I know if I say that while I'm casting I will just get so much hate and backlash you know stupid woman doesn't know what she's doing Whereas if one of my male co-hosts said this, it'll be like, oh, that was really funny, that guy's cool. Um, but I do feel like I will be marginalised if I do that. I've never had any actual bad experiences due to my gender from casting or anything really. I think British Youth Force has been really fantastic at stamping that out and making sure that nothing that really crosses the threshold and turns anybody in any way. Um, for me, personally, what I've got out of it is I really enjoy casting them because as a woman in eSports myself, getting to showcase other women in eSports makes me feel really great. It's like I'm showcasing my people. I'm not exactly my people because they're all really good at the game and all I do is talk about it. But you know, it's really great to be able to showcase them and let the world see that we actually do have some really talented women and uh, marginalised genders at this game, even though... You know, on the stage, usually it's men, but even in the actual non-women eSport Grand Final, we had quite a few ladies in the past couple of years as well. But it's great to have this tournament, especially for them, where they can showcase what they can do and show that they're just as good as everybody else, which is what we're trying to prove here, that women eSports are as good as anybody else in eSports. I think you've got to encourage people to follow their passion. 
um, it's all fine and well putting you know diverse people on the stage but if they're not passionate about what they're doing it just absolutely shines through so if somebody has that passion um, I feel like you've got to nurture it if you're an educator or a parent and your child shows an interest in it and you know if the opportunities come up encourage them to get into casting broadcasting behind scenes whatever they want to do because if they've got a passion for the esports industry we want to see more people like that in it um, I'm really happy to be part of the first Be The Change Summit. It's been a great experience meeting all the lovely people from all over the country with different stories to tell and different experiences to share as well. It's been very interesting and enlightening. I do think this sort of thing is really important going forward because we need to remind everyone that this esports is just really diverse and there's so many people involved in it all over the country, everyone from every background. And we need to constantly remind people of that because we don't want to slip back into a world where it's just completely governed by, you know, people who are not diverse. You know, we need to make sure that everyone is constantly reminded that there's so many people involved in here and they're here to stay.